I'm here at OnePrint where they're re-envisioning wave management underwater to accommodate all kinds of biological life, coral, fish. These are six foot modular segments which they're printing inside their facility over there with an outdoor mixing system near a Titan facility. And so Titan has all of that concrete materials they're gonna crush up to make into concrete. And they're able to make a marine grade concrete with a higher PSI that is specifically designed for the oceanic environment. And one print is really doing a great job printing every day here to spit out as many of these modules as possible. They go through the entire six foot segment in one go, placing things like rebar, lentils, and even small shelves for coral uh, on the side. And they've got Jordan and Armand operating the equipment here. We'll get an interview with them in a minute. Hello everyone, my name is Armand. I am the print operator for OnePrint and uh, we are printing a unit that is for, for coastal protection and for habitat creation. And uh, over here, these are lentils, mini lentils, large lentils. And as the print uh, continues printing, uh, over here, we're gonna have windows. And in order to make those windows happen, we put these mini lentils so that it creates a bridge so that the layer can cross over the gap. And then at the top, once the window gap is fully printed, we're gonna put the large lintels like this, and that will uh, go over again as another bridge. And that then the rest of it will continue printing as the way it's supposed to be. Hey, how you doing? I'm over here at One Print. We're having the time on the floor manager where we're making these things, we're making them. And basically my job is, I'm everything on the floor, I'm helping our mind from rebar, chipping the floor, keeping everything clean, keeping everybody safe, keeping the environment smooth. And that's what we're doing basically. How do you get these holes cut out? Oh. And you give it a time, you wait. It's probably like a 30 minute duration, each hole, each square, cut them out. That's what we're doing over here at One Print. My cleanup process, I clean throughout the day, so I won't have to do so much after the cleanup. So I clean out throughout the day. I just uh, hand around everything. So sweep up, broom up, shovel up. After the print, after you got to power wash the. Yeah, power wash. But Armand, he power washes his machine. I keep the outside clean. And yeah, that's basically how we do it. All right, thanks, Jordan. You got it, for sure. They're on the last layer of printing, so they're about to successfully do this almost six foot high segment in all one go, which is obviously challenging considering printed material needs to be strong enough, uh, buildable enough, and they got all those things done. So they've got it going great. Armand, are you happy with the print today? I'm very happy with the print today. Uh, we had very minor problems with the material consistency, which obviously happens throughout the weather change. But this top layer is beautiful. The top layer is yes, yes, the top layer is beautiful. After this completes, we have one more layer, which is going to be the last one for today. And overall, it's looking pretty good. Awesome. Everyone here at Automated Construction knows the cleaning process is one of the most important parts of the job because concrete hardens and it's very important to get it off of all of the important equipment before that happens. Otherwise, you got to get a chisel. So today, because it was only a four or five hour print day, everything went really smooth. It should be pretty easy for them to clean everything off. It shouldn't be hardened in the hose, and it should be hopefully like maybe an hour cleanup process between disassembling everything, power washing all the printer parts, and preparing everything so that they can print again tomorrow. Here they're demonstrating three different texture finishes so that they can try and figure out which one accommodates coral the best. The coral needs something it can latch onto. My guess might be this one, but who knows, we'll see. Well, what do you think of 3D printed concrete for underwater applications? The freeform design is great, and all of those cracks and crevices make for a phenomenal spot for coral or plants to anchor in when there's turbulent waters. This will help them grow big and strong. If you'd like to get a job working with 3D printed concrete, either in marine scenarios or for housing or commercial construction, go to humanrobotarmy.com and submit your resume today. 
Armand, the print operator here, actually reached out to me on Instagram years ago asking how he could get a job in the industry, and I referred him to OnePrint. He loves working there, and they love having him too, because of his X Factor and passion. I know you guys have that as well.